All right, guys, let's do a revisit on these Biteski PC water cooled fittings. I did a review a while back on these, but I've been getting a lot of questions about them. Hey guys, Mike here. So guys, I've been getting a ton of questions on these water cooled fittings that I've used in the Megatron build. I did do a review on these a while back. They are from a company called Biteski, but I wanna do a revisit just cause I'm getting so many questions. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about them and let me give you guys a closer look at these things. I absolutely love them. I think they're fantastic. All right guys, let me start off and show you one of Biteski's compression fittings. This is their compression fitting in the color gray. Let me show you what's different from a lot of other compression fittings and what I really like about Biteski's compression fittings. So we take the cap off here. Now, as you can see, it's got a giant one piece O-ring. Now, most of the compression fittings that I use from some of the major um, companies out there like Alpha Cool, um, EKWB, and Bits Power, they usually have two small black O-rings. Bytesy has this giant blue O-ring. I, really like I really like the design of this thing. I think it's going to work fantastic. Um, I don't think um, leaks are going to be an issue. So definitely different. Um, we'll see how this holds up over time. So... Guys, if you're new to water cooling, let me go ahead and show you how a compression fitting goes on. So I do have a piece of uh, chrome tubing left over right here. So, so with your compression fitting, it, it comes in three pieces. So what you're gonna wanna do is twist your cap off. So your cap comes off. And then you have your O-ring. And then you have that piece. That's either going to screw into your block, um, into another um, fitting, extension, or whatnot. And when you screw it in, as you can see right there, um, you can use an Allen key um, to tighten it down. Just remember, you never want to over-tighten these. So, so what you're going to do is you got your piece of tubing. Your cap goes on first. So you slide your cap onto the end just like that. And then you take your, your O-ring and that slides on the end just like that. And then this piece, whether it's connected in your block or fitting, like I said, this piece goes on the end like that. And then your cap will come all the way down like that and then twist on just like that. And that's, and that's it. And then this would either go into your block or whatever else you have or, you know, connect it into a 90, whoever you design your loop. Mm -hmm. Twist it in like that and you're good to rock and roll. Now, all these fittings, these extensions left on the table, um, they're in a gunmetal gray. Like this 90 right here is a gunmetal gray. I originally wanted to get all my fittings, including the compression fittings, in a gunmetal gray. But Biteski didn't make the compression fittings in a gunmetal gray. And I was kind of worried that they were going to clash. But I actually like them. Um, I think they actually the colors complement each other. And I think it works really, really well. So... But so that's how that compression fitting goes on. And then you just twist the cap off and the same process taking it apart. So I love these things, guys. I can't recommend these fittings enough. Um, I think they're going to work out fantastic. All right, guys, so these things are super sweet. Now, where can you purchase them? Well, there's two options. There's AliExpress and there's the Bytesky US store that ships right out of Idaho. Now, I didn't go with the US Bytesky store for the simple reason they didn't have the quantity in stock that I needed. I ended up having to go with AliExpress. Um, there is a store that I found on AliExpress called the official Bytesky store. That's where I did buy my chrome tubing from and all my fittings. I did get AliExpress's free shipping. I think it took about 21 days to get here. Um, everything came like it should. There wasn't any issues. But I would definitely recommend if the US Bytesky store has the quantity that you need to buy from them because it's gonna, it's gonna arrive a heck of a lot faster than having it shipped from China. But I love these things, guys. I love the multitude of colors. Um, I can't wait to do another water cool build and use a different color. 
Um, I think they're great, like I stated earlier. Um, the single O-ring, we're really going to have to wait and, and see how that holds up. Um, hopefully, no leaks or anything like that. I don't think it will. It looks like it's going to work really, really well. Now, let me tell you guys something stupid that I did. So when these things arrived, I was super excited. Like, you know, anything that comes in the mail, um, PC hardware-wise, I can't wait to rip it open and check it out. So all these come in little individual baggies like all fittings do. So I decided to rip them all open, check them all out, and I threw the little baggies away. Now, let me show you guys on one of the extensions. The top and bottom is really, really coarse where it's machined. Um, so, as you can see, it's super coarse, right? So, I, I throw out all the bags. So then, I'm like, well, what am I going to put them in? So, I decided to put them in a giant freezer bag until I was ready to use them. Um, I did move the giant freezer bag around a few times. And some of the extensions and the 90s got scratched up because of the coarseness at the top was banging into them. So um, when you get them, if you buy them, keep them in their own individual little baggies until you're ready to use them. So, but um, again, these things are great. I'm going to post all the links in the description below. If you're looking for some great fittings outside of like Alpha Cool, EK, um, Bits Power, even Barrow, definitely check these out. They're worth a look. So, but as always, guys, stay safe, stay healthy. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one.